Welcome! Building better buildings in Blender is what this video is about. Let's dig in! Hello, hi, hola, handle and greeting. Blender 2.81, but newer or older will do. You can make better buildings really easily using a couple modifiers for any simple geometry, and if you activate a plug-in or add-on, you can make use of the same modifiers to make really modern buildings with organic floor plans. If you look at real buildings in the cities around you, the tops and bottoms are somewhat different than the design in the middle, which does all the business. Thankfully, the array modifier handles tops and bottoms with ease. A larger base and narrower top keep this rectangle kind of balanced or stable, but blah. I also don't want to have to drive myself nuts keeping the sides all symmetrical. So the second modifier, mirror, is one I employ along the X and Y to expand the footprint of the building because bigger is somewhat sexier for these things, and it provides one final breath of fresh air. Once all mirrored and arrayed, a Shift D duplicate of the building with or without tops and bottoms can provide a whole new structure. In edit mode, because I didn't have to worry about symmetry, I didn't. I can rotate along the z-axis and find a whole new shape. Planning ahead lets you do this a ton of times. 45 degree rotation, 60 degree rotation, 90s, etc. But maybe remember to turn the tops and bottoms too. It a final way to play here is activating an add-on, Extra Curve Objects. And look at this path. After pressing Shift-A, you can find your way to Splat. There's lots of settings to play with, but once you find a cool shape, you're already in edit mode if you want to keep changing the curve. Finalize your shape, but in Object Mode. Convert immediately to Mesh before you set modifiers loose upon it. If you convert a curve that's being modified, the modifiers are applied and removed. That's probably not going to help you. I needed some palm trees, but I didn't want to fuss about it. Arboro. It's free, but since it's JavaScript, some security settings might prevent it from running easily on some computers. My Windows 7 machine didn't care. Palm is one of the defaults. I leave it exactly as is because this is very intimidating as uh, interfaces go. When you export with Arboro, you have to explicitly state the file extension. If Blender is set to import that file type, you're gold. So we could talk about materials or you could tune out, but either way, Arboro sends its exports with materials, which is very thoughtful. You can check a few building references and make a few no-window materials, some glass materials, railings maybe, uh, and by unwrapping Z-extruded faces along their length and turning a series of wave or checker textures to fit right, for me, railings as a texture is better than railings from mesh or objects or wireframe tricks. However, all this advice for dynamic architecture aside, you can still have a ball with these modifiers on your cube buildings because it's really the best way to make fire escapes for your inner city rectangles. For that, I'd employ the wireframe modifier and use that start and end cap thoroughly from the array modifier. This way, even dopey cubes look passable as buildings. Okay, Daddy, so we both get three. Ooh. One, two, three. Can uh, I go eat the others? Want to eat the others? Sure, man. Wait, can I have one of those? Okay, thank you very much. Cheerio! Stay safe. Stay strong. My self-isolation has me a thousand miles away from home. I'm in Florida.
as a single parent with my five-year-old. Uploading videos by way of Hotspot costs way too much to do too often, and inspiration for this video came from pictures here in Florida. Here are some of those pictures. Thanks for the follows and subscriptions. Find me around the internet. I read all your comments and your video likes get me high. And most of all, thanks for watching.